I've done investigations at many poultry plants. What happened to the turkeys at Butterball's plant in Ozark is going to haunt me forever. The day I started, one worker picked up shackled birds and punched them in the necks. I guess he was bored or thought it was fun. The same day, another guy told me how he broke a bird's back with his knee, and then he broke her legs after shackling her. I could tell this is going to be a horrific investigation. At this plant, about 50,000 birds were shackled and slaughtered every day. Uh, day after day, workers would carelessly grab birds from coops and slam their weak legs into shackles. Uh, it's a violent process. The birds are scared and flapping. Their legs often break. Live birds often get caught in their coops. Uh, once when a bird's leg got caught, one worker just ripped it right off of her body. I frequently saw live birds being slammed against the metal bars of the transport trucks and the coops, and even into the concrete walls. One day, one of the workers swung a bird like a baseball bat into the handrail of a staircase. The bird's spine was exposed, and there was blood everywhere. And this guy just laughed about it. Workers like to play this sick game where they throw carcasses of dead birds at those still alive. Uh, these birds were terrified and confused. <laughs> One day, uh, a worker was taunting another worker by holding a bird uh, by the legs and jerking her back and forth toward him. The second guy just grabbed the bird and punched her. Workers are told never to go underneath the trucks the birds arrive on for any reason at all, even if live birds fall down there. We're told that if we hear a loud popping sound, it's just a bird being squished under a tire. This happens frequently. The remains of dead birds are scattered around from being run over. Workers would regularly punch and kick birds. One guy humped a shackled turkey one day, and another time, another worker was putting his fingers in a turkey's cloaca which is basically her vagina, while the line was stopped. The workers at this plant were clearly not trained in animal welfare. Some workers even bragged about their abuse. When people go to the grocery store and they see butterball or other turkeys all wrapped up in plastic, they just don't know what happens to the birds before they end up in the meat case. I mean, how could they? These dark plants are kept away from main roads and certainly not shown on TV. I went into this Butterball House of Horrors to show people what the company never will. If even one person sees this video and stops eating birds, it'll be worth it.